Raw after WrestleMania did not disappoint last night, giving us a storyline that's going to pay out in a couple of months, where The Rock handed Cody Rhodes something in the middle of the ring, and we're going to break down the wildest theories on what this object could have been on this episode of Wrestle Digest, but... Before we get into it, just gotta say that 89% of you guys watching this aren't subscribed to the channel, so if you're looking for a home or maybe a second, third home to wrestling content here on YouTube, make sure to go down below and hit that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's get right into it here, and that is, what did The Rock give Cody? And yes, obviously last night on Raw... At first, they opened the show with Triple H coming out with Cody Rhodes, celebrating uh, him winning the Universal Championship uh, from Roman Reigns. At WrestleMania, they played a really heartfe uh, heartfelt tribute uh, video that really pulled at the heartstrings. I really enjoyed that. But after that, Cody, you know, had his promo with the fans, but then The Rock came out. They had a very, you know, kind of awkward promo, in my opinion. The Rock kind of gave Cody his flowers after the after he got a word in, after the crowd was booing him like Dominic Mysterio, which I thought was crazy. He gave him his flowers. You know, he talks about how Dusty was his, you know, childhood hero type of thing. Got him into wrestling. So he was happy for Cody to, you know, finish the story. But we did also see a very awkward moment. That was when The Rock wanted to hold Cody Rhodes Universal Championship so they did do a little bit of a title swap here I thought this was a little awkward part of the promo in my opinion they both held each other's championships before The Rock gave uh told gave, uh, gave reached into his pocket and gave Cody an object which we couldn't see uh it got snuck into Cody's hand he said you know it, it, it's uh you know you know what it is you don't even need to open your hand to know what it is uh insinuating that it's an object that you can just tell by the feel of it what it is. Now, there has been many of many of theories going on on Twitter, on Reddit, all over social media on what this object could be. And first, we got to say, is it a rock with googly eyes and the final boss on it? Could it be <laughs> the final boss rock? Is this what he could have given Cody? Uh, could he give him two dollars for the bus? That's a toonie for U.S. viewer viewers. Uh, could he, could he give him his Tamagotchi to take care of while the Rock is gone? He said he's going to be gone for a little bit, but he will be back for this object. Did he give him the keys to the Slim Jim car? What did what it could this be? Did he give him a free pass for a bull ride a bull ride in the local bar? I know there's just some some jokes here, but these are the three theories that that I think are are, are you know uh, really great here. And one of them is a bead from Roman Reigns' necklace. And this is one I've seen on Reddit. Personally, I'm gonna bring up the screenshot here. Uh, he he says he's positive that it was a bead from Roman's uh, Ula Fala necklace. Uh, he says that four things that make him think this are the rocks that you don't even know how, you don't even have to open your hand to know what it is implying that it was something with a very unique shape he also says the rock said uh, don't you ever break my heart again implying that whatever it is it hurt rock to give away he also says the match was under bloodline rules meaning if you stretch kayfabe a little bit then technically cody could be considered the tribal chief now the head of the table and um, he also says here the overall somberness of the handoff and respect displayed by the rock it clearly upset him in kayfabe but he still treated cody as an equal even letting him hold the people's championship and yes i, I like this one i seen this one online this is one that I, I thought that you know a theory that we needed to talk about here i really like this because roman reigns we don't know what the future beholds of him right now is he retired is he taking a break obviously we know the rock is taking a break he's probably recording his next hollywood blockbuster uh, but he says he will return to get this object and a bead from roman's necklace makes sense like he said here this match was under bloodline rules it it was uh you know uh something that you know is very highly desirable for Cody Rhodes now that he bet the tribal t chief could potentially be the head of the table. Uh, I think it just makes sense to me because 
he know the rock says he's going to come back for this so maybe he wants to come back and reclaim the head of the table become the tribal chief within the bloodline we don't know what beholds for the bloodline now until friday night smackdown but as of now i'm going to assume that roman reigns is gone we we won't see him for a little bit same with the rock so maybe the bloodline you know kind of folds i guess you could say and cody rhodes is now the head of the table the tribal chief because he bet roman reigns he defeated his a uh, great reign as universal champion and was under bloodline rules which would insinuate that he is now the beholder of the ulafala necklace and the head of the table i really like this theory because like he says here this is a unique shape you know what you're holding with this bead and, and this could be something I, I really like he says he's going to come back for it uh i think this is one that I was really interested in. Another one that I did see circulating online here uh, was a, a watch. And we're not talking about a watch similar to the one Dusty pawned off. We're talking about a watch that w is rumored, I guess, or, or is not really in kayfabe a lot. But Cody Rhodes uh, bought himself and Seth Rollins a watch for the WrestleMania match, as well as, you know, it's been rumored that he did buy one for The Rock and Roman Reigns as well. So maybe The Rock gives this watch back to Cody after he defeated Roman Reigns, saying, you know, I don't really want this. I'm going to come back for it. I'm going to beat you for it type of thing. This is one, you know, that I, I kind of like as well. I think this one makes sense to me. Obviously, this hasn't been, you know, in the media. It hasn't been in kayfabe. So... It could be something as a surprise for fans. Not not as, you know, fun as the Ulafala necklace bead. But I do think this makes sense. Uh, if Cody did buy a, a watch for himself, Seth, Roman, and The Rock, it makes sense for The Rock to give it back to him, saying he wants, to hold on, he wants you to hold on to this while he's gone, and he's going to come back for it. So maybe this is what happens this is what unfolds here uh, this could be an interesting angle to take uh, i don't know how they would swing this but it, it would be a fun one to watch but uh, we're going to get into my personal favorite theory here the one that i love the most and that is a lighter a lighter makes sense because as we know before wrestlemania cody's tour bus caught on fire this is in kayfabe. People know this. People know Cody's tour bus caught on fire. He was able to salvage the things he needed uh, while, you know, getting out of the bus and stuff like that for WrestleMania, which is great. Nobody was hurt in this. Is it real? Is it fake? Nobody really knows. So this could, this makes the most sense to me is that The Rock set Cody Rhodes, you know, bus on fire with this lighter. And he gives Cody the lighter. Cody looked really shocked in this. He looked really shook. He didn't expect this at all. So maybe he felt that lighter, felt that Zippo, that big lighter that The Rock give him. And he was really scared because he didn't know that The Rock set this fire within uh, his trailer, within his bus, which is a really interesting take, a really interest interesting angle on this for me. In the promo, we also seen The Rock talk a lot about cooking, a lot a lot about smelling, which could insinuate, uh, you know, some fire terms in there. And I think uh, where Rock is such a big heel, he kind of took it back a little bit last night. He wasn't as much of a heel. He was more towards the fans than he was against Cody, that when he comes back and, and you know, maybe there's secret footage revealed from wrestlemania 40 from the tour bus fire where we see the rock walk up with a tin of gasoline and this lighter and he lights it on fire and that that's it and he lights the bus on fire and this gets cody rhodes fired up because he's gone all this time however long it is probably six months till we see the rock back in here but uh you know he, he sees it, he walks, uh, you know, he, he see the video of him walking up to the bus, setting it on fire, and Cody is shocked. He has that same look on his face that when, you know, he uh, gave him the lighter, a lot, like, last night. This is what we'll see play out in, down the road, in my opinion. I think this one makes, like I said, the most sense to me. I did say that about the Ula Fala necklace as well, but I like this one the most. This one, you know, you kind of remove the bloodline out of the situation, and it's just Cody and The Rock. The Rock has done something to Cody that, you know, is unforgivable. And they have to fight, whether it's for the championship, whether it's just one-on-one. -on -one. I think this makes the most sense for me. 
because it's the easiest way to reintroduce The Rock into this situation by him coming out saying, I have, you know, a video for you. I have secret footage of what happened during WrestleMania 40. He plays the video and it is The Rock setting the tour bus on fire. But I want to hear your guys' theories down in the comment section. What do you think about the three I've talked about today? What do you think about the joke ones that I've kind of thrown in here as well? Which one of the three that I've talked about today, the Ulafala necklace, the Rolex watch, or the lighter, makes the most sense in your mind? And which one do you think is actually going to play out over this next, you know, six months, over this next several months? Uh, and like I said, for me, the lighter one makes the most sense for me. But I want to hear from you guys down below in the comments section. And while you're down there, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Like I said, if you're looking for your main home or second, third home for wrestling content here on YouTube, we are going to be here every single day bringing you updates, rumors, news, everything that's happening around the WWE, around the wrestling world. So you're not going to want to miss that, so go down below and hit that subscribe button. And also, if you want to check out a video we did yesterday on Cody Rhodes and MJF, it'll be popping up on your screen right now. But as always, I've been your host, KC. We'll catch you in the next one.